Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here. So one of the questions I've been getting a lot and asked a lot whenever we talk about Harmony Trailblazer is, do you really need Runme to play together with Harmony Trailblazer? Um, the answer is Runme is very, very good for Harmony Trailblazer, but I want to give you actually an alternative. For those of you who simply do not have Runme, or maybe you want to play her on another half, you don't want to utilize like two strong Harmony units in the same team, you simply do not have the resources. I want to give you a way out. I want to give you some alternatives as well so that we all can enjoy this very, 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 strong character super efficient if you haven't seen the videos of the team compositions how versatile this unit is i highly encourage you to see that um, but basically let's talk first about what makes Rami good so and that taking that we will actually understand what other characters can be substituted and still have a very very good output as well what makes Runme very good is, of course, her extension with her... Where's that flower bloom thingy that she does? Is it her ultimate? Yes. So you have this, like, flower bloom. This... I'm not going to try to pronounce it. It's just a flower that blooms. And basically, whenever they try to recover from weakness break, the flower like, kind of, like, pops and then extends their weakness break even more and pushes them back a bit by delaying their action and stuff like that. The skill... Her damage does skill with break effect, which is very synergetic with Trailblazer because Trailblazer's ultimate, where you have that super break damage, wants to have enemies who are in the weakness broken state as far as possible, as much as possible. Um, Ranmei really helps that a lot and Trailblazer buffs break damage, which then also feeds into Ranmei, helping her increase her damage or also be able to like funnel it to the rest of the team because she skills off with uh, break effect which buffs the rest of the team damage. So it's like kind of like a loop cycle, especially if you can't hit certain thresholds for each of these characters individually as well. That's what makes Ranmei really good. Here are some alternatives that I want to provide to you. Firstly, and the best, in my opinion, proxy for Ranmei is going to be a five-star standard character. You don't even have to have a limited character. And some of you probably left this character on your bench for ages. And that character is actually, well, well, it's a very, very strong unit and it all starts with his element. Being same element as Harmony Trailblazer means that you get benefits from like Panacony set, you get a lot of like same type sets and stuff like that that could potentially happen. Uh, mono imaginary teams, blah, blah, blah. But why imaginary is so good is because it's the closest proxy you get for Ranmei's flower extension of weakness break duration. Because when you imprison them, you not only delay them, you also reduce the speed. Coupled with that is, well, it's actually one of the best in class speed buff debuffers in the game which until today didn't really have too much use if you look at his skill you can see here um, basically skill has a chance to reduce enemy speed by 10 percent his out also has a chance to reduce enemy speed and delay them as well which is very very crazy this compounds on top of that of course for the delay factor that they get and the speed down factor they get from imaginary weakness break already uh, very very good deals good amounts of damage from a nihility roll and if you play well in this team you then have a slightly extension, a good, a, a bit longer extension, which is a good proxy for Ranmei. And it also allows you to bring in Akron into the mix. Some of you who are really wanting to play her uh, in a team together with Harmony Trailblazer, why is uh, Akron possible is because her ultimate is a colorless breaking uh, damage where you can hit all sorts of enemies, which means that regardless of whether it's lightning, if it's lightning and imaginary, your team will handle it very well because you have Harmony Trailblazer, you have Akron, you have Welt. But on top of that, you have a bit of colorless breaking to hit any sort of element if you, for example, need that additional requirement, which helps you proc Trailblazer's effect much better. Not to mention, Welt is a nihility character, which at least allows you to get one of the stacks for, um, for Acheron as well. If you can't run two, uh, at least you can still clear the floor with a good amount of versatility in the comp, regardless of how you want to play. So some other options, if you do not have Harmony Trailblazer, the concepts are pretty much the same. Uh, characters that can break enemies very, very quickly to get them in the state very often. That way you don't rely too much on Runmei's extension so much, uh, scaling of break effect. Or you can even play other characters who are very, very quick to do damage so you can break enemies very quickly. Like Argenti, Serval, all those characters are really strong. But I really like Welt because of how he synergizes with the overall playstyle. Currently, he's the best in slot speed down debuffer and for that reason i think if any of you who do not have Runmei or are thinking of playing her in another team uh, you should consider well as well i think he's very very strong so yeah definitely you guys can consider giving it a go in fact i don't even have him super well invested you can see the showcase that i'm doing is like a 4777 uh, i have him at eidolon 3 but it's not too significant just increases a bit of damage some energy and some of like tracers levels relic sets i'm actually going for a four-piece pioneer diver of dead waters and a two-piece panicking land of dreams 
Um, I'm running an energy restoration rope because I want to try to get that speed down uptime as high as I can. I am personally not a weld main, but I just um, sorted this build specifically suited for extending the duration of the enemy's uh, weakness broken state as much as possible. If you play against an imaginary weakness enemy, this comp is going to absolutely shred them uh, to nuts, especially if you have Aventurine, Luota or something along the likes. Otherwise, any other sustain is going to be fine. But enough talking, let's do a very very quick demo in terms of Memory of Chaos so we can actually see how the team performs uh, at least on full auto battle, shall we? So I'm just gonna go into this team right here. Okay, let's do the, the today's one. It's just reset for Asia. So let us uh, take a look. I am going to force this team. Okay, this is the team that I used, the Sherry team. If you haven't seen the video on why Sherry is uh, so strong, I highly recommend you check it out. But that's besides the point of this video. Let us do a very quick uh, like something like a mono imaginary team of course lightning over here one nihility and let's take a look so i am just simply going to do a very quick buff we're not going to see all the way i guess just want to see a little bit of how the synergy works together So now they are slightly slowed and stuff like that, but you want them to be even more slow and well applies a lot of speed down on them. So you see this uh, super backup dancer kind of thing helps you keep that duration a little bit longer so that you can at least hit more of those cycles. So enemies being much slower now. <laughs> So basically a 20% speed reduction if you think like the average speed is like 100 That's already like 20 speed less, 80 speed For those of you who don't know, if you compare like your Clara versus maybe faster characters You can actually feel the difference, 20 speed is very very significant Especially when it's a flat 20 speed amount Yeah, I guess we don't have to see it all the way. You can already see the synergies between them. And uh, if you guys found this video helpful, if you like to see more of such content, I really like Harmony Trailblazer and really done quite a bit of content on this particular unit. Check out our other videos. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe for more of such future content and see you in the next video.